I have a problem, I do. And now because of me, my DJI Avata has a problem. So this is how it happened. Um, Yeah, flew into the car, the video file got corrupted. So I only have the successful flight, but there was an unsuccessful flight. Where, yeah, I, I think it basically got stuck under the car and girlfriend kept driving over it and yeah, pretty much it's broken. I still have the top part. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's seen better days. There's a huge chunk of it missing, completely missing. So I pulled that off. It doesn't look terribly broken though, so I don't understand what's wrong. Here's a bit of a closer look for you guys. Maybe we'll see a little bit more when we take this apart, but overall it looks completely fine. I do notice that there's nothing on the back of here it seems like that's gonna be connected to here so there's no rippage there and yeah other than that everything else pretty much looks fine this is um a little bit broken you see that crack right there that is going to be needing to have replacement just 3d print that let me turn it on for you because we're not just replacing this for no reason connect it to the remote the headset and show you the errors i get in the headset everything looks good this light goes on i'm not sure if the light codes are supposed to be anything different but this is pretty much what happens and it keeps doing that until it gets a remote pairing and a headset pairing let's go ahead and turn that one on and we will go ahead and turn this guy on. I think there's a small red flash in between there. That might be a problem. And another thing, y'all, the camera, the, the gimbal doesn't work. You know, typically it will move, it'll adjust. It's not doing that. And I think that might be because the GPS positioning is messed up. So the aircraft doesn't really know where it is in space. Now, if you look in the headset with me, we got a ton of errors, y'all. Just errors after errors. There's one that says to calibrate the IMU. And I'll go to calibrate, I'll press start. But the aircraft, all it's gonna do is just long beep. Watch this, all right, ready? Press start, right? Button right here, pressing it, it's pressed. And it just goes back to the screen. It used to beep the aircraft, now it's not even doing that yeah oh see it's beeping i think it beeps the headset but maybe it can't communicate to the aircraft so that's the reason why i'm going to try to take apart the gps module and take you along with me because i haven't really seen any other videos on how to take this gps module apart we're gonna do that today right now step one undo the screws on the side if you can leave the cover on that is fine you can just see that mine is um let's just say smashed in and that's how the cover popped off i unscrewed the two screws one one on this side and one on this side. You see where that little hole is that holds it in? So there's one on each side. Took those bits out, but we still have to do a little bit more removal to replace that. Also, make sure your aircraft is definitely powered off. And then the battery is also removed. Maybe I'm blind, but I really couldn't find anything online on how to disassemble this, but I'm hoping it's not too hard. I'm thinking we just separate the bottom part from the top part. And to do that, the next step we're going to go ahead and do is remove that screw right there. It looks like it's holding the bottom part to the top. Then there's a little bit of shadow, but it's gonna be that same on the other side. One screw each side, we're gonna remove those. And then we're gonna go to the back and then you can see there are two more screws that we're going to want to remove. So that's step two, removing the four screws in the bottom and then that's off. Now there's two screws on top, one here and then one on the other side that we're gonna go ahead and remove. Back on the underbelly, I'm looking at the top and I can see four more screws that need to be removed. So if we take a look at the left side under the blue propeller, there's one screw right there. You see that guy? And then there's going to be one screw up here. See that guy? So blue propeller. And then we have that one right there. Focus, little guy, focus. It's not focusing, but you can see that guy. And then that guy. So two on each side. And from there, we can go ahead and remove this top part off. Be careful of the front. That is your frame completely removed. The top frame completely removed. You can see this cable from the camera goes into our flight controller down here. 
underneath this. We're gonna have to figure out how to get this guy out. So looking at this and I was like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with it. Apparently there's a band, a black band. It runs around the whole outside of this. And when this got bashed in, it ripped a little bit of the band right here. So I'm thinking that's what's wrong with it. I'm gonna try to disconnect it and then power on the drone and then reseat it and see if that fixes it. But we'll probably have to go online and pick out a new one. We're gonna wanna go ahead and remove this guy in the middle. Just two screws on both sides. Underneath here is a ribbon cable that you're just going to want to push apart. And that is your flight GPS. And this is your ground sensors removed. Now, I guess we gotta get in here more. Let's remove some more panels on the side. These are for the antennas. So one screw here, one screw here. And then we're just gonna repeat that on the other side. These two screws. Now on each side are these little antennas and they're in the landing gears. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull them out. Just get your fingernail, tweezers, something in there and you're gonna want to push it out. I try to push it out against where the wire is coming out of. So the wire is coming in on this side. So I'm gonna push it out from the right hand side I have not switched my bit at all. Let's see if we can just pry it off like that. And then the wire is gonna go along underneath here. So let's just go ahead and pull that out. So we're pulling the wire out and then we're just going to want to fish it through and then push it through this gap and then push all of this through and out. And look at that, the whole thing is just gonna come out. Boom, you got your drone. We're gonna wanna switch out the bits. We're going after this one right here. It's gonna be a Phillips head. And then we should be able to just lift this piece or we're just going to pivot it to the side. Now our connection is underneath here and we can go ahead and disconnect that. The whole thing has been pulled off. All we gotta do now is fish it through. You're just gonna want to Fish it around the propellers. Be careful with this piece. You don't want it to get it caught in the propellers. Last thing you're gonna want to do is this screw right here. This one right in the middle, you can't miss it. It's an H1.5. Go ahead and unscrew that. It's this super tiny screw right here and that is going to go in that hole. And then this piece is just gonna slip through this hole right here. And you have your unit completely removed. This is the part that we're going to go ahead and replace. AliExpress. It's $30 here and it's $60 on eBay. So I decided to go with AliExpress. We're going to do this one. We're going to order it. I'll catch you assembling this next. My part came in. Let's go ahead and fish it through this small hole right here. Out the way it came. Cool. We've gone ahead and pushed it through. Let's pull the cable all the way through and then we are going to set it in place. Now that it's all the way through, I'm going to go ahead and screw in that middle screw. That's the only thing holding it in place. From there, we can go ahead and pull back that metal tab. We can go ahead and place that connector back on and then go ahead and slide this back over and then secure it with the Phillips head screw holding it down into place nice and tight. From there, let's go ahead and turn on the drone. Let's just test it. No flying. If you don't feel comfortable, take off the propellers. As a matter of fact, we're gonna test the motors and everything, so that's what I'm gonna do. Take off the propellers and then plug the battery in. All right, guys, so we have video feed and the best part, look at this. So this is bare bones right now, right? If I move, now the gimbal stays level so that's a big thing that we wanted and let's look at the motors all right y'all i'm gonna turn it uh i'm gonna prop it up on something that way the motors don't just like spin on the ground this should be fine for now let's see if they turn on so i'm gonna take the controller And we did it, y'all. So let's go ahead and put this little guy back together because, oops, sorry, I should not have grabbed you by the camera, but he is, um, he looks a little bit not normal right now. Let's go ahead and put that back together, but don't worry, we'll walk through it together. Went ahead and put the propellers back on from our test. 
now we're just going to want to put it back in through here so when we do this we're going to want to be careful of a few things first the antennas be careful with both of these guys we're going to want to thread them through first and then line up this the sd card slot with the sd card flap on the frame so if i line it up the sd card is on this side so we're going to want to put it in this way now first things first let us pull these two antennas together pushing them through the hole okay okay and then we're going to want to go ahead and just start sliding this down kind of shimming it into place and boom it's into place okay that was actually a lot simpler than i thought it would be now before i go underneath i want to start screwing the frame together that way it doesn't fall apart so there are two screws we have this one right here and this one right here these screws might be left on here if you have something like me. So I'm going to use these ones to screw into here, meaning that we're going to have to align the frame up. So let's align the top part, press down everywhere. And these two screws are really the only thing that's holding this top part to the bottom part looking face down everything else is underneath once we have the bottom back on we're going to take the antenna one on both sides you can see i already did this side but don't worry i'll do this side with you guys you're just going to want to take this wire there's a little channel for it right here and then there's more channeling for it right here you're going to want to press it down into place and then we move over to the side over here now the side can be a little bit tricky as it goes in at kind of an angle so the bottom part goes forward at an angle and then the top part goes towards the back and you're really just gonna have to angle it to get it in there that's pretty much it like it will not see like right now it's not good you're gonna want to push it in more awesome okay we finagled it it is in a good spot that's exactly how it should look and then we're gonna want to get this little piece make sure your wire has gone all the way along here and it's not going to get clipped when you put this part in this part has two little teeth on the bottom so that's what you're going to want to slide in first and from there you kind of just like push it into place and then take your two hex bits and drill them in on the sides the last thing to do will be to connect this ground sensor so we need to get the ribbon cable that's coming out of the bottom and we're going to need to put it on here. Make sure it's facing the proper way. It's only going to go in one way. Don't force it too hard. Once that's in, we can take the two screws that came on the side of it and then bolt this down, bolting down the antenna housing. I've already put the screws in and that's just so you could see it better. That was my thought process. But let's start with the back of the drone. So this is the butt. On the butt of the drone, there's going to be two screws. You see that one right there, one on this side and one on this side. You're gonna to wanna to screw ahead and screw those in. Let's go up this way. Boom, right in kind of the same location, but on top, this is the head of the drone. On top, there are these two screws right here. You're gonna to want to screw them in. And then above that, let's move this repeller out of the way. On the side here, you see one screw. On the side there, you're going to see another screw. So those two screws, above these two screws, you're gonna screw in. So currently, that's two down here two right here and then two on the side so we have about six screws there's eight screws total so above this middle screw if we move the propeller you're going to see one more screw and that is hiding right there you really gotta tilt the drone to see it but it's gonna be that screw right in between the two propellers that guy right there you're going to want to unscrew or screw in since we're putting it back together and then it has the same on this side. So if we remove the propeller, you can see it's right there in the very inside. So eight screws total for the drone. Go ahead and screw those all in and then your quad will be back together. And then the last thing to do is just secure this GPS module in place with the two screws right here. That's pretty much it. We've repaired your avatar.